What's good, bitches? What's good? Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Santos. If you guys are returning subscribers, what's good, fam? Thank you guys for the continued support, and welcome back to another video. So, I know, guys, I know, I know, I know I have been MIA these past few weeks, and I do apologize. It's just been super challenging to sit down and record a video in this office. It's been extremely hot these past few weeks in New York, and guys, it's so counterproductive to my productivity to even want to sit in here when it's scorching hot. It is so frustrating that you can't even imagine trying to carry. It's not a vibe. And yeah, no. <laughs> so do bear with me. I'm excited to be showing you guys all of the new products um, that are about to join the collection so we can go ahead and continue to bring out bomb content. You guys already know. So we did pick up a lot of new products from Sephora, Ulta, as well as Morphe. So you guys know that this haul is about to be lit. And we got a lot of highly recommended products from our boot, Tatanisha. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up in our haul, definitely stay tuned for the whole portion of this video. But before you guys go, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the Ignitions family if you guys aren't already. Don't forget to spread the word on your new favorite influencer. And without further ado, guys, enjoy the haul. Alright guys, let's really talk about it. So this video is about three weeks overdue. I was supposed to do this when I came back from Florida and this bag has been sitting in my room for about three weeks. And when I tell you, it has been all over this room and it looks janky. It is because it is janky. It's been through ups and downs in this room the last three weeks. But let me show you guys this bag. So all the companies that I mentioned in the intro portion of the video is all in here. So as you guys can see, this bag is packed to capacity. So yeah, this is what we did get. So I do want to mention that I'm not going to do this in any particular way um, I'm just gonna just pull them out randomly uh, just because everything is mixed in but I'll let you guys know if I got it from Sephora or from Ulta or some more food. All right so first up is going to be the headband y'all I love these headbands these are in the bath section at Ulta these are super super cute I first seen these on our boo Tatanisha and guys, you guys know, since day one, I've always worn a headband when I do makeup. I do not like anything around my face when I am doing makeup. So these headbands, when I saw them, I was like, they are a must. Super cute. So I did pick these up in five different uh, patterns. So I did pick this one up, which is super cute. Then I picked up a nice red and pink one. And then, of course, I pick, picked up a pink and white one, of course, because I can't hold myself. And then the last one is a nice cow one. Super, super cute. And I love that I have these a part of my collection. They're super, super cute. And I already wore one of these in my last tutorial. So if you guys haven't never seen them in action, definitely go check out my last video. I'll link it right here for you guys. All right, guys. So moving on, I did pick up two packs of the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Towelettes. I do like these. Um, they're not my favorite, but they always get the job done. And I honestly do not have no sensitivity to these wipes or do I break out from them. And I've been using these on and off for about 15 years. And can't complain. They're a great uh, makeup remover for your skin. Next product up is going to be the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Neoceramide Dew Drop. So this is how it looks, guys. Lovely packaging. So, so cute. Let me show you guys what the bottle looks like. Oh my god, I already tried these um, for the last two weeks. And guys, I am obsessed. First of all, this bottle packaging on 10, like so cute i can look at this packaging all day because it's just so pearlescent and gorgeous um i actually really like this formulation i really feel like it does plump up my skin it makes my skin look nice and radiant um i don't see a long term term glow i feel like after a few hours my skin just looks normal um i do wish that maybe this did have a little bit of um like glitter particles so that glow can be continuous all day but i do love the texture and what it does to my skin and the overall skincare glow that it gives such a beautiful product 
And guys, I have great things to say about this in my favorites video that is coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that. Next up is the Real Techniques Seamless Complexion Everyday Brush. I believe this is what it's called. This is my first Real Techniques brush. It is so cute, the packaging, and I saw that my influencer friend Danielle Blends speaking about this, so me and Tata Nisha, of course, we love our girl, we support our other influencer friends, so we did pick this up. I cannot wait to use this, especially like today, my cheeks, oh, I can't wait to show you guys what this is. Um, this would have been perfect, but I was holding out for you guys. So, definitely excited to be using this one. Alright guys, so next up, I did pick up the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. Um, I've actually had this palette for about, um, it was a little bit, it's been about five weeks. It's been in my collection, just sitting here, and I forgot to bring it out because I did put it in the drawer. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Well, this is what the palette looks like. Juvia's Place always displays it's just beautiful, vibrant coloring in their packaging. And that's one of the reasons why I'm always so drawn to the company. But I also love their formulations. Their formulations is really nice. I'm so sorry if the cellophane fell out. So here is the color story to the palette. Guys, I mean, how stunning is all of the gorgeous colors. Like, this blue is screaming to me. This pink, this neon, this, oh my gosh, like come on now i'm excited to be playing with this one as well um i have never used any of the big juvia's face palettes so i'm definitely excited and i definitely will keep you posted on how this palette performs because i definitely have high expectations for it next up is a new concealer to the collection it is the new huda beauty full filter luminous matte concealer guys i've used this already three times and oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I could I couldn't hold out guys. This concealer is really, really, really nice. Let me go ahead and show you guys the packaging. So here is what it looks like. I did use this in my last video. So here is the name of it. Let me show you guys the actual applicator of it, y'all. How unique is the applicator? This is the first time I see like a doe foot like this. Sorry guys, I'm moving all over. This is so definitely unique. I really am enjoying the formulation of this product. It leaves the under eye very velvety. I don't throw that word around loosely. Um, the only other concealer I use that word for is the actual uh, Charlotte concealer because it does. Um, this one is definitely a runner up for that concealer and I'm very much enjoying this concealer at the moment. You guys definitely need to try this one because this one is definitely one for the collection. So I did pick up two essentials in the collection. So I am replacing my Huda Beauty lip pencil um, in warm brown. I The, the actual box is uh, sealed, but it's a nice um, warm brown a lip pencil. Love it. It's very much a terracotta. It's not brown at all. It's actually a, like a terracotta, like very orangey brown. It's so pretty. It's very, very pretty. And then I did pick up my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color chocolate. That is the brow color that I always use for my brows. So if you guys were wondering, that was it. So next up, I did wind up picking up the Charlotte Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've heard so much about this all in the beauty community um, from either Sephora, um, from makeup artists, from influencers, from my friends. Everybody said that this actual setting spray is bomb AF, especially my influencer friends Tatanisha as well as Danielle Blends. So I am so glad to be um, adding this to my collection because you guys know when they speak up, I'm running to the store. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my opinions on the setting spray in an upcoming tutorial video, so definitely stay tuned. Next up, I want to talk about a liquid blush that I've been trying to get my hands on for months now. Rare Beauty, if you guys know um, or are fans of the company, every location at Sephora, like all locations of Sephora do not have the liquid blushes in stock. I thought it was only New York. I thought I would be able to get them in Florida and also on um, the gondolas in Sephora were empty. So I was only able to pick up one. So I did pick up the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch blush liquid in the color happy so let me show you guys what this looks like first of all the rare beauty packaging is so cute so this is really the color is really gorgeous it looks so beautiful it definitely is giving me like uh peachy pink vibes um it is not 
the cheek color I have on now, which I, it's coming up guys, it's coming on. When I tell you I have a lot of positive comments about that product, y'all need it. Y'all need it. So yes guys, so unfortunately I am trying to get on the wave of Rare Beauty, but unfortunately everywhere is sold out. I will continue to try every time I go to my local Sephora's, but unfortunately it's super hard, so God knows when I'm going to be able to try out a lot of the other products. So I'm sorry for the people that are requesting for me to try products, I just can't find them. Up next, we did pick up some lip stains. I did pick up two of the Sephora lip stains, so I did pick up... Um, the color 74 which is this like nude um, pale pink and then I did pick up this um, nude in 32 which is a little bit more to the beige side so as you guys can see them up close there is one pinky one and then one beige one now I already tried this formula and I really really like it and honestly I was surprised the Sephora has really nice products and I think that a lot of the beauty community is sleeping on them and we need to get on it because literally the last couple of products that I tried from Sephora collection has been bomb. okay so let's get on that trend y'all so up next we did pick up some colored pencils from the Morphe store I did pick up the Morphe X Nayani fairy tale collection pencils so there are six eye pencils in this box and y'all, you guys know I love me some color pencil moments, love a full-on colored liner moment, absolutely obsessed, because they add any kind of little bit of drama and color to any look. So excited to have these in my collection. Next up is this brand called Bad Habit. I've never tried any of their skincare products. Um, this was my actual first time seeing them in the Morphe store. Um, so they were on sale 50% off and they weren't too pricey to begin with so I did pick up three of the items because they were you know affordable and you know skincare can get very pricey so for the three I think I paid like $50 and I was like okay we're here for that so I did wind up picking up a total reboot a H A B H A enzyme peel and really just resurfaces and refines skin so this is definitely great for those long makeup days and you want to just take this off your makeup off really quickly you do this uh, do your makeup wipe and then do this and then just put your skincare on boom 10 minutes okay <laughs> and then to follow up with you know stripping the skin of all of its natural oils I did pick up a um, melatonin and glycolic night cream so I do want to try these two together to see how they mesh and really leave my skin um, and the last thing I did pick up was a silence mode hydrating hyaluronic mask so I'm really excited to use this as well I would definitely be using this with my steamer because I love any kind of facial mask that's really gonna hydrate and just leave my skin looking juicy you know what I'm saying <laughs> next up we did pick up a Morphe fluidity full coverage concealer and I picked this up in the color white this is more for my artistry days um, when I maybe need a white base or if I need to lighten up a concealer so this is definitely one for the collection up next is this colored liner this is the morphe always online gel eyeliner in the color orange so I did pick oh it's called spicy thing sorry so this one I did pick up because I've been dying to do an orange look or like some type of sunset look with an orange kind of waterline I've never ever had a orange waterline so I'm looking forward to definitely creating that maybe I'll get to use this around the fall time um, so like a pumpkin spice latte kind of you know uh, look just putting out a little idea for one of them <laughs> excited to have this one definitely a part of my collection up next guys I picked up the Morphe coconut bliss coconut setting spray now I don't know how long Morphe has had one of these but I love anything coconut and when I saw they had a scented one and it was coconut I needed it and I was running low on my Jeffree Star one or the pink one so I definitely just wanted to have this this is a must-have for the collection if you guys have never tried a continuous Morphe like the continuous Morphe setting spray look at how beautiful it sprays the dispenser like it's so continuous oh that smells Ooh, that smells good mm -hmm definitely one for the collection love these and highly recommend them and they're affordable guys 
Up next, I did pick up three brushes recommended by our boo. So she told me to pick these up because they were three detail brushes that she loved. And of course, I had to pick them up. Definitely, this one right here is a must. Oh, so good. Up next, guys, we did pick up two cream blushes from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Y'all, when I tell you these blushes are bomb, they are bomb. This is the color that I actually am wearing on my cheeks. And do you see that glow, y'all? Like, let me get real close so you guys can actually see. Look at how beautiful my cheek is. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this color. Y'all, yeah, this is a must. This is a must have for the collection. Like, the glow, the formulation, the blend, the formula, it's bomb. It's a bomb. So let me go ahead and show you guys the Empress color. I have not used the peachy one yet, but this is the gorgeous color. I did use this in my last tutorial, but I used it lighter than I used it today. I did apply it a little bit heavier, and y'all, the heavier the 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 heavier the application the fresher your skin looks and i'm just i love it i'm obsessed shout out to jacqueline cosmetics because i was sleeping on this and let me tell you it is a must have must have for the collection i'm gonna go ahead and look at that guys look at how pretty is that i did also pick up the color swoon and this is what it looks like. It's a nice peachy color. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So it's nice and new. Really excited to be trying this one on on my next makeup, no makeup day. You know what I'm saying? My no makeup makeup kind of day. Because this, I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed. Nobody can't tell me nothing. Well, shout outs to Tatanisha because she is the one that put me onto them. And honestly, they're a game changer. Game changer, just saying wind up picking up this small glitter palette from Nobla. It's called Nobla Miami Light Palette. So this is what the front looks like. Guys, it's such a beautiful palette. Let me show you guys the actual shadows. You guys can see that. I've used this purple and oh my god, the reflect to that purple is so beautiful. I definitely want to use this coral shade and maybe this um, bronzy shade will be so beautiful in a look. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. You never know when I'm going to pull these products out, okay? All right, guys. So moving on from the Morphe purchases, I did wind up stopping at Target to replenish my favorite priming oil. You guys already know. I did pick up the Pixie uh, Vita C Priming Oil. If you guys have never seen the actual packaging, this is the packaging. You guys know this is the oil I always use in all of my makeup tutorials. This is my third bottle. Um, I did donate my second bottle to my friend. Uh, you guys know I live by this product and of course I can't live without it. So definitely if you guys are dry to normal skin, you guys will love this. Moving on to our next purchase, I did go to Ulta and pick up some stuff from Rem Beauty. It's funny because Rem Beauty at my local Ulta, they didn't have the displayer out yet. So when I went to Florida, I was so surprised to see uh, Ariana Grande's like gondola. I was like, oh my god, this is really, really nice. So um, Tatanisha mentioned some stuff that I should pick up. So I did pick up a few things. Um, not too many, but definitely things that I actually like. So the first product I picked up was the Full Night Sleep Cooling Blurring Under Eye Balm. So this is the packaging that it does come in. So let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the actual packaging. Very, very like sleek looking. Let me see if it gets um, zooming in. So if you guys see, like it looks like petroleum jelly or like some kind of like jelly and it's it looks clear because it looks very frosted but guys i really like this product this is my third time trying it it did take me a little bit of a a minute to like learn how to put this on because the first couple times i put it on i didn't feel any kind of cooling sensation um but the other day when i put it on i pressed it onto my skin and when i tell you it had a nice cooling sensation for like a good minute I was like this is really really nice I really can see where like 
um, it can kind of like de puff because it, it, it feels like it's waking you up. It's a really nice feeling. I enjoyed it. Next up, if you guys have been watching my latest makeup tutorials, you guys know that I've been obsessed with lip oils. It's been a game changer for my morning routine. So when I saw that Rem Beauty had lip oils, I needed to pick them up ASAP. Essential Drip Lip Oil in the color minted condition and raspberry drip so here is the packaging guys it's just a reflective gray silver packaging and let me show you guys what the actual oils look like guys i've tried these oils and i really do like them if you guys are fans of like a thinner consistency of oil this product is really really dope so this is what the actual packaging looks like this actual cool mint one does feel like mint on the lip so it does have that really cool cooling sensation this does have a very unique applicator it does have a actual metal ball in the center that helps even distribute and blend out the oil which is very very nice on your lips i love love this again if you guys are not a fan of like heavy um lip oils or lip conditioner this one is really good i have already converted both of these into my bag because i just can't get enough of these and they are definitely a must you definitely will see these in upcoming tutorials because they are bomb they are bomb up next guys i did wind up picking up two lipsticks from the brand um i think i picked up a l actual lipstick and a actual lips liquid lipstick so i'm going to show you guys what the lipstick looks like so this is called the on the collar classic lipstick in kiss me so this is how the packaging looks like it's very very futuristic but very very simplistic um so this is how it looks you can actually see the color up there so this is like a let me swatch this for you guys because i've never um i saw it and i just picked it up so let's go ahead and swatch it oh it's a nice peachy brown nude love that all right guys so the actual packaging as well is a magnetic i just wanted to mention that so you guys can see it has that magnetic cap which is really really nice because it keeps your lipstick in place as you guys can see the on the collar liquid lipstick and this one is called leave a message okay you can't talk to me leave a message oh and this is so cute so i think it's actually pretty similar in color let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys let's look at the applicator unique applicator as well i guess all of their products have a unique applicator so guys, this is it. This is a nice peachy brown nude. I can't wait to use this one as well in the collection. I'll let you guys know how these products perform in upcoming tutorials, so you already know. Stay tuned. Um, while I was on vacation, uh, Made by Mitchell's website was 50% off. So I had to do a restock as well as I purchased this new collection. I do not know the name of the collection. I'll link it in the description bar down below. Um, it had a lot of new of his blursh uh, colors so I had to pick up the whole collection so these are all of them so I picked up all six so there's a pink a blue a yellow a orange a purple and a green uh, guys you guys know I love UK based makeup and I just needed to have these in my collection just in case I need to create any kind of color um, I know that these products are going to work and that they're super reliable because I already love the original formula which talking about the original formula i did wind up a restocking my favorite bronzer because you guys know i finished it completely so i did wind up stocking my blush bronzer in caramel chisel if you guys do not know these are my favorite liquid bronzers on the market right now my personal favorite and i've gone through one of these and it was so sad when i didn't have them and what i love about these is that you can use these over powder and they do not cling on to the powder they blend like a dream so awesome and you guys definitely should check these out because these are bomb and then the last thing i wound up picking up from his website was i did want to pick up some of his blushes but he didn't have everything was pretty much sold out other than the these things that are uh, i already previously mentioned so this one i did pick up in mango mango daiquiri which is like this orange oh love love like what bitch what Wh like when i tell you this is why i want to create an orange look it's because of this okay so stunning and i cannot wait to have this all over my face i'm just saying 
Up next, I've been looking for this palette for months and months and every time I've gone on the website, it's been sold out and I'm so happy that while I was on vacation, I was able to order it and it came in literally a few days after I came back and the palette that I am talking about is the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette, guys. I would go ahead and open this, but it is sealed on the inside. Um, but if you guys haven't seen the color story to this, definitely again stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials. I definitely will be using this, but here is a kind of a visual of all the gorgeous colors. This is such an amazing product. I had to get it after uh, our boo was showcasing all of the amazing looks that she's done with this palette. And guys, when you talk about a palette performing, you definitely want to invest in a palette that's going to get you through any kind of look and that's definitely this one for the collection so i'm so excited to be creating and bringing you guys fire content with this so definitely stay tuned and then also another palette back to back is the blend bunny premium palette all right guys how stunning is this palette this one is not sealed so i can go ahead and show you guys this palette is gorgeous this is what the outside of the palette looks like and let me go ahead and show you guys what the palette on the inside looks like how stunning i've always wanted a palette that had the rainbow colors in it and y'all the second row is perfect i love that there's pastels i love that there's rainbows i love that there's defining colors and i love that there's shimmers and a black and a white this palette is Perfection. I'm so excited to have this in my collection and create a guide. You guys already know. I know that that sounds like everything that I've been saying the last hour, but it's true. <laughs> so we are down to the last three products. I just want to say thank you so much to Tatanisha as well as Kiki for gifting me these three products. These are kind of my memorabilia products. I don't want to touch them because they bring back such amazing memories and I'm so grateful for you guys. I enjoyed my trip with you guys. Tatanisha, thank you so much for all of the recommendations and Kiki, thank you so much for making this trip happen for me. I love you so, so, I love both of you guys so, so, so much. So let me show you guys exactly what they gifted me. So first and foremost, they did give me a Morphe palette. So this is the 35A Up Till Dawn palette can we just talk about this packaging now like how stunning is this packaging let me show you guys the actual shades like i got a lot of eyeshadows y'all so you guys know it's about to go down over here in the initials family okay so here is the palette in all its glory let me go ahead and show you guys the actual color story to the palette look at how stunning if this doesn't scream summer to you that I don't know what planet you're from, but this is giving definitely summer to me. What do you guys think of this palette? Because this palette is so beautiful. I cannot wait to create some looks with this palette. You guys know I love some Morphe palettes. So this next item, Tatanisha gifted to me personally. Um, this is the Patrick Ta uh, Double Take Cream to Powder Blush. And guys, me and her love blush well she's more of a blush lover than me but she has been putting me on this one is called she's a doll um which is the stunning pink vivid pink let me show you guys what this looks like here is the packaging it has a very reflective packaging just like all of his products and then when you go ahead and open it oh 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 my god, y'all. This, this right here makes me so excited. These are the kind of pink blushes that I love because they give you that natural flush from within kind of look. Like people be sleeping on these blushes and here I am just throwing it on. You know what I'm saying? So thank you so much, Boo. I cannot wait to play with this one because this one is screaming fire. Like I need to put it on my face. The last thing that the ladies did gift me was a makeup bag and a course it had to be the golden girls <laughs> they gave me this beautiful makeup bag i am a huge fan of golden girls especially when i can't sleep i put them on and y'all it's like home it truly is they are like my girlfriends they make me laugh i cry with them i get into all of the emotions with these ladies thank you guys so much for making this trip so memorable i love both of you guys so much
Alright guys, if you guys have made it to the end, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I think that's all I needed to mention in today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys already know, sound off in the description bar in the comment bar down below. Let me know what you guys are excited to see in upcoming tutorials. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, definitely smash that like button. Give your boy a like. Don't forget to consider subscribing to the Aficious family if you guys are new here. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.